Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy, and today we are going to see what is a linear operator in functional analysis or in a topological space and what is the difference between a function and an operator. So if we have two linear topological spaces N and M and the mapping T is from N to M. So this mapping T from one linear topological space to another linear topological space is said to be an operator. And why it is different from a function? Because when defining a function, we have no restriction of a linear topological space. And when defining a function, N and M could be any space. So there is no restriction on N and M to be a linear topological space in a function. But when we're talking about operator, so operator can only be defined when N and M both are linear topological spaces. So this is a, just an operator. T is a mapping from N to M where N is a linear topological space and T is now just an operator. T is said to be a linear operator if we have two elements from the field A1 and A2 and two elements from that linear topological space N, N1 and N2. So T operator is said to be linear if A1, N1 plus A2, N2 equal A1, T, N1 plus A2, T, N2. So this is the basic definition of being linear. So if we have a mapping from one linear topological space to another linear topological space, then T is an operator from N to M. And if we have two elements from the field and two elements from the linear topological space N, and we have this equation that is satisfied by A1, N1 plus A2, N2, then we can say that the operator is a linear operator. So now moving towards some of the examples of a linear operator. So here we have an a linear topological space. I is an operator because N is a linear topological space. So I is an operator from N to N. Now we are going to check is that identity. This is an identity operator. Whether identity operator is linear or not. So very firstly, we have to pick two elements from that N, linear topological space, and two elements from the field. So we're going to apply operator on this thing. So we know that I is an identity operator. So I, A1, N1, when we say this thing, when I apply it on A1, N1, that equals to A1, N1. Why? Because I is an identity operator. What we choose here, N, and applied identity operator N1, we have N1 here on that linear topological space. So I, A1, N1 is A1, N1, and when you apply it on both of the things, we can get A1, N1 plus A2, N2. So we can write it as A1, this, and A2, I on N2. So this is what the linearity of an operator is. So this whole thing equals to this thing. So this thing implies that identity operator is a linear operator when we have N as a linear topological space. So identity operator is a linear operator. Now moving toward another example. So we have two linear topological spaces N and M and a function between N and M is zero. So we have a zero operator between N and M. And we're going to check this is a linear operator or not. So again, we have to take two elements from this and two elements from the field. And we have to apply the zero operator on the. So zero is a function from N to M. Zero is an operator from N to M. And it works like that if we take an element from N. And the image of N1 under this operator zero, we can get zero. So all of the elements of N so all of the elements of N gives zero or maps on zero under this operator. So we have to check this for the linear operator because A1, N1 plus A2, N2 is also an element of N. So we can write this equals to zero. 
So by definition, the image of this element equals to zero. And we know that if, so this is equal to a1 times zero by definition and a2 times zero, and this equals to zero. So this equals to this thing. So we can say that a zero operator from n to m from one linear topological space to another linear topological space is also a linear operator. So this is for now. We're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.